Hey everyone, welcome back to our deep dive series. In this segment, we're gonna be exploring some of the new and exciting things being launched for model year 2025, including the Arctic Cat G8 display powered by Garmin and the all new 858 engine. Joining me first is Ben Lungus, engineering manager for High Performance. So Ben, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. So Ben, walk me through what is new for model year 2025 in the high performance category. Well, first and foremost, we're most excited for the all new 858 two-stroke engine developed by Articad. That'll be in all the trail, crossover, and mountain segments. Um, specifically, I'm looking forward to the new RXC with the 858. Oh, I bet you are. Now, I've seen the Snow Pro name before in Arctic Cat models in the past, but it sounds like it's coming back. What does this mean for model year 2025? Yeah, so the Snow Pro name has been around for ages, and we decided to bring it back in the Catalyst platform with an all new um, AC5S shock package. And walk me through just a quick high level overview of what the AC5S means. Yeah, so the AC5S is a five step compression adjustment shock package. We have it at the skis, front track, and rear track on all segments. And I know we talked more about this in another episode, but I want to talk now about the Arctic Cat G8 display powered by Garmin. This is something that I think a lot of people are really excited about. So give me the, you know, the 30,000 foot overview of this new display. Right, so it's an all new display designed specifically for the Catalyst. It's an eight inch display. Um, it's got all your maps, it's got your communications. Uh, it's gonna be offered in the spring order only model. So if you're getting that attack package um, in all segments, you're gonna get that, that gauge as well. So I wanna talk now about some track options that are new for model year 2025. And in the Riot, we now have a 146 with a 1.35 inch lug. Why did we move away from the 1.6? Right, so we've offered the 135 before in Procross platform in the Riot. We decided to go back with the 1.3 instead of the 1.6 to differentiate between that customer that wants a more off-trail experience versus the one that wants a little more on-trail. So the 135 is gonna complement that on-trail ride experience more versus the 175 is a stiffer lug, better for off-trail, deep powder days. Cool, so just really catering to the 50-50 market in, in two different ways. Right, we felt the 1.6 to 175 was a little too close to, to make that customer's choice easy, so we decided to give them the 1.3 instead. Cool, well thanks for joining us, Ben. Thanks for having me. So next I wanna bring up Andy Beavis, our engineering manager for Mountain Products to talk about more updates that have been made to the Maldi year 2025 lineup and explore some new things for the mountain category. So Andy, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks Ben. So Ben already talked about a lot of the new updates that we see for Model year 25 and the high performance category, but talk to me about what's new for the mountain segment. Yeah, so of course new in all segments is the new big motor, the 858. And in the mountain world, that's everything. You know, we had a, crazy awesome launch last year with the 600 but super excited to show people what the catalyst will do with this in the mountain now we talked about some track changes for model year 2025 on the riot uh, and it sounds like the 165 is coming back for the mountain category which models get this yeah so of course we launched the 600 last year the mountain model mix was pretty limited based on 600 engines in the mountain you know blew our expectations away what we actually sold and what people thought of the vehicle but with the 858 we're going to be launching all models track lengths shock packages you know the new gauge so the 858 really needs that 165 for out in really deep snow now the snow pro package is also available on the mountain category uh, but it's from what i understand set up a little bit differently what do backcountry riders benefit out of the new ac5s suspension yeah so the cool thing about the ac5s is we're giving them five distinct positions and then we're carrying over the technology that we developed using the lockout on the rear shock for deep snow being able to go to that fifth position and actually lock out the rear shock for climbing and, and getting up on the snow, especially in the steep stuff or when the snow is really deep. What other shock packages are offered for the Catalyst in model year 25? Yeah, well for 25, we're, we're bringing back the float shocks on models and then building on, like I said, the 600 last year, we're bringing back the attack, you know, with the G8 display on models. So we'll have IFPs in 600, we'll have IFPs in 858, and then we'll have floats and attack with also the new 5S in the 858. So you mentioned the Articat G8, so I assume that the mountain models obviously get this new Articat display as well. Oh yeah, I mean, the, 
the new display in the G8 with Garmin on the mountain sleds is, is just awesome because especially with the group ride function, you know, and the GPS mapping, we're not on trails, you know, I'm lost most of the time. So having that to refer back to and find your buddies and be able to communicate with everybody in the back country, I mean, that's gonna be really exciting on the mountain sleds and people love it, so. And it's great that it's compatible with our existing Garmin tread units and you can get an upgrade kit to uh, retrofit your old Catalyst models too if you're looking to add that Articat GA display. Yeah, it, it's really cool to be able to put it back onto you know, the 600 Catalyst and then even potentially some of the legacy Thundercats and things like that. So it's a, it's a really exciting option being able to buy it. And then with that retrofit or accessory option, you can also configure it to models that maybe we don't offer it out of the gate with. So it sounds like there's a ton of really awesome features to be excited about for model year 2025. And I think we're gonna get into those in later episodes, but I wanna thank you for your time today. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. If you guys want to learn more about what's new for Catalyst and Model Year 2025, check out the rest of this series or visit our website at articat.com.